topic, which is, which is moving average filter. Uh, this is the most interesting filter of all because you can transform this filter into low pass, high pass, bend pass, and bend stop as well. So uh, this is a general expression of a finite impulse response, which kind of act as an FIR filter. So uh, we're going to be discussing that here. Uh, what is moving average? You you guys know about the average. Average is like taking the average of multiple components, right, at any instant of time. A uh, moving average, on the other hand, is that take the average, for instance, at this point, then at this point, then at this point, then at this point. So your average is at this point, if you're taking, let's say, three point average. So there are three possibilities. One, this value plus this value plus the previous value divided by three, and you get the average. Then if you move on to the next point, so it will be this point, this point plus this point divided by three, and you get the next one, and so on. That's one way to do it. The second way is that at, at this instant, you take the average of these future values, one, two, three, and you, you, you have the average value here. Then you go to this point, you take the average of the next three, and that's like a three-point average. Now see, normally, it's you, you can't have the future values in advance because then the system will become non-causal. So the, be, the these two approaches are not uh, valid for real time. So what we do is that the, your actual average, uh, moving average filter, if you want a three point average at this point, so it's going to be present value, the previous value and the value before that. If you move on to the next point, again, it's going to be this value plus previous value plus the value before that. So this is how the moving average works. So you keep on moving to the next point and you keep on taking the average at this instant of time. So let's say if you are discussing a three-point average of finite length signal, so that is x0, x1, x2, for instance, having these values, it will give us an answer of this at that particular instant of time. Similarly, for the next point, it will give us the average of this. This is the things that I just discussed in the previous slide. So this is the expression when you are considering the future values, x of n plus x of n plus 1, which is a future value, plus x of n plus 2, which is a future value. This is a kind of uh, difference equation, and it is uh, valid only for the cases when the values are stored inside the computer. So then all the values are available to you at any instant of time. But this is not the ideal case. Uh, we'll just go through this uh, just to explain the concept of the moving average, and then we'll discuss how it should be actually. So here, uh, we'll start from point minus 2. We take the average, right? And then at uh, minus 1, then at 0, then at 1, then at 2, at 3, 4, 5. And from this point onward, it becomes 0. Now, these values of y of n, actually, just look at them. And I'm going to explain them to you on the diagram. Th this was the diagram, if you remember. So see, at this point, uh, well, we start at minus 2, for instance. So this is, for instance, we start at this point, so the average is 0. We start at this point, 0 plus 0 plus 2 divided by 3. That's going to be 2 by 3, the first value. Then if you reach this point, then it's 2 plus 4 plus 0 divided by uh, 3. So you get like 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 3, you get 2. And then we move on to this point, which is 2 plus 4 plus 6, which is 12. 12 divided by 3, you get a value 4. Then if you move on to this point, that's 4 plus 6 plus 4, which is 14, you get 14 by 3, and so on. So this table is actually explaining those points. 2 by 3, first point, then 2, then 4, then 14 point. 3, 14 by 3, and then 4, 2, and so on. So those are the averages. So the value, if you, you, you have noticed, the value between minus 2, all the values are 0. After minus 2, at, at minus 2, what happens? 0 plus 0 plus 2. So you get 2 by 3, right? And then you keep on moving. Similarly, when you reach the last point here, from here onward, it's going to be 0. So uh, you don't have to calculate all these values. OK. So this, if this is the input, this is the output of this particular moving average filter. Similarly. Uh, so this this is where it's, it's it's actually plotted the values of y of n calculated from here. 
One more thing, uh, if you have noticed, the output sequence have more components than the input. See, the input was having one, two, three, four, and five components, but the output is having one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven components. So this is one of the phenomena that is actually pretty common in these systems. You guys have studied convolution. So convolution, uh, what it does is when you apply the input signal to the system, it produces the output, right? Uh, and convolution actually explains the impact of the system on the input signal. But what happens is that when you supply a signal of, let's say, number of samples n and the system response is having m components, the output is usually equal to n plus m minus one. So if the input is having, let's say, three sample, the system is also having three sample, the output is going to have five because that is three plus three minus one. So this is uh, one of the issue with the digital system. And we're going to be discussing that at a later stage, that how to ensure that the inputs and outputs are exactly in the same length. Because if, if the values are keep on increasing, then it doesn't make sense. Because you, you supply five samples to the as input to the system, the output should also have five. So we're going to check it out why this is happening at a later stage and how to get rid of that. OK, like I've discussed that uh, the previous expression written was having x plus n, n plus 1, and n plus 2. So that was non-causal, depending on the future value. So the actual uh, expression for the run, uh, running average filter or moving average filter is, uh, OK, these, these are the two terms used for it, sometime moving average, sometime running average. So they are both almost the, uh, the, the, the same. So uh, for system to be causal, it should be the current values plus previous values plus the value before that, the three components and divided by the corresponding number of components. So it's, it's an average thing, but it is actually taken all multiple points. So you keep on changing the value of n and you keep on getting uh, different values in this expression and you keep on adding them. So this is the expression for a three point running average filter. And this is the 